and today we will be showing you my planner bullet journal for 2022. So this is it. It is a nice little panda one that goes with my whole entire theme for today. Um, for the entire YouTube channel. I've always loved pandas and everything pandish. And since I had pink already for this, I decided to keep it exactly how it is. I just had to adjust my camera. I'm so sorry about that. Um, we have used quite a bit of pages and I don't know exactly where I got this, but I'm going to do a quick little review for you guys. The table contents, we have not got anything done yet. Then we have my pretty name with my first little page. I wanted to do something cute, so that's what I decided. Then we have from Dave Ramsey. This was the best one that said budget, so I went with it. A budget is telling your money where, where to go instead of wondering where it went. I went with a money sign, the piggy bank, and then when I thought of wondering, I thought of a bunch of thoughts, just wondering, you know. So that is what I did. The next page I really, really love. Um, it's a goals page for 2022. It has confetti, balloons, and it has my list of nine goals for the entire year. Which you can take a moment to see how much money I'm putting into these little goals. $6,000 for the car, $5,000 for house. 1000 for emergencies, 1000 for savings, 1000 for vacation, 500 for shopping, 400 for Christmas, 300 for miscellaneous, and 300 for camera. But since I know I won't be achieving all these goals, I made an achieved goal of $3,000 for the entire year. So if I achieve that and I go beyond it, great. If I don't, that's sad. Um, really depends because I know that the car and household is the biggest goal out of all of them. So I decided to make a very small adjustment on that. And as you know, one car, which is what it's showing at the very top, equals $100. And every single time that I color a car, it means that I have $100 in there. So I have $900 right now in car. And we're going to move this process quite along because I want to make sure that um we get through this entire thing with under like 20 minutes then we have household which also has an achieved goal of only a thousand dollars saved right now we have two hundred dollars into household so we have eight hundred dollars more to go and yes these houses aren't perfect they're somewhat crooked sometimes but you know it's it's fine savings is another great one i led to my little piggy bank we have I believe $300 into this one. Yep, we have $300 into this one, which is awesome. But then everything started going downhill, which you'll see in a moment. Emergencies, I was talking to someone, so my focus on was not on this. It was on them. And this goes throughout the entire thing. <sighs> Vacation, I already messed up. I colored in one of the boxes because I was talking to that person again. And they made me color in a suitcase of $100, but I don't have $100 into my vacation. So the next time I stuff the video, I will be adding $100 into that topic. Probably from the Christmas money that I will not be buying everything from $350 for Christmas. So that will work out fine. Shopping is accurate though. I love the cute little dress. You know, one way up to the dress is $50. I made $50 on everything, you know, how it is. Miscellaneous is a question mark. I really didn't know what to put as a symbol for miscellaneous, so I went the same one. A question mark on, you know, miscellaneous things that we just buy, impulse purchases, things like that. We have $22 in right now for our category, but to make this accurate, it's only $20 for every colored category which we need 18 more dollars to color in the second one. I know it's very sad, but it's true. Christmas, which I shortened it down to Xmas, will be amazing. We are starting completely over after the leftover money from this Christmas of 2021. We'll be putting the extra money in smaller categories or any categories that I'm choosing. And then we'll be starting over putting $40 
for each month. But as you can tell, if you can do some math, it's only 10 months and there's 12 in a year. It's because two of them are going to be millennium months of, I don't want to stuff Christmas this month. So I'll do it next month or for shorter paychecks or something like that, something hemmed up. It would be an excuse, a little buffer for me to not stuff every single month. If I stuffed every single month, it'd be $480, and I feel like that's too much money for Christmas, especially with my immediate family. And so that was my plan, and I know it's very sad. It's only five Christmas trees, but, you know, this is my first bullet journal, and I wanted it to be really simple for this first one camera i really want a polaroid camera i already know that one's a mistake i'm so sorry about that guys um for each camera that i color in it will be ten dollars which is awesome i hope i get this one really really quick so i can get my polaroid camera so i can be super super happy with taking a bunch of pictures and film that i have to buy um three hundred dollars is a lot but if i don't spend three hundred dollars like i said it will go on to the rollover money of a different category or whatever I choose and that will how it will be then we have another quote from Martha Marf, <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. I really could not see that say that I may mean oh my gosh I'm messing up on my words so much right now um, his quote is, you don't have to see the whole staircase, which is why I draw some stairs. Just take the first step. And I draw two little shoes of one of them ahead of the other because they're taking their first little baby step, basically, into that. Then we have a calendar with a uh, high on it of a little thought with a cute little panda sticker that I got my panda stickers from Amazon because it goes with my theme for um, the channel. And this is just a breakdown yearly review and a smaller portion. Um, when I start stuffing, which will be the first one in January, I will have a bigger view of just January month all in one setting thing. And it will have the days like the exact same thing. So I won't be marking on this. I'll be marking on this bigger one, bigger size for that specific month, if that makes sense. And decorating it way more prettier and stuff. But we have the basics of payday, holiday, b-day, spent money, which is a bad no-no. We shouldn't be doing that. And then groceries is good. As long as I just spend my groceries and not spend real money that is for my budget, then we will be fine. This is a yearly breakdown, which I decided to do. And yes, I know November and December is very low, but I actually wanted a small little column, which I didn't thought of before, for the total of both of them. So my earned income will be subtracted by my spent income, and then the rest will be my saved income, and then the totals will be awesome to figure out how much I do well on that. And then we have a yearly mood, of course. I seen a bunch of girls have these on a bunch of things, so I had to do it. And it goes all the way through January through December. But I also wanted the average on if I was happy or the middle or somewhat or the middle or upset for the entire thing. And then we're jumping a couple of pages right into December 2021. I did a cute little snowman. Usually after this page, it was supposed to be a quote, but since it's only 2021... And it's not the new year. I decided not to do a quote for December 2021 because we're starting out fresh. And so that why that is why this next page is not a December monthly spread of the days all in, you know, the little days down there. Because I didn't want to do that um, for this year. So instead, I just went with a December breakdown. And this is... Um, paychecks from December, which is right down here, my paychecks, because I decided this tiny little box right here, which was supposed to be for notes or just for decorations, like more little snowflakes, will instead be these paychecks for this month only of 2021, because the how much income I make this month will be going into the January stuffing category which will be awesome. If I make anything less than $500, then we have the things on the red. 
of what I will be stuffing no matter what. And hopefully we make at least a little bit more than $500 or anything like that. And then I can adjust it right on this side. I will not be copying down these, you know, categories into this one. Because I don't believe in that. And I just realized that I missed a category, which will be adding into my next one for camera. I will be adding that one in there. So usually my next two pages, which will be the new one, it will have a quote, which will be right here. It will have the monthly spread of that month, like January, February, whatever the month is, decorated. And then I'll elaborate on some notes, what actual holidays, what whose my birthday is, or whoever's, you know, what's going on. And then the exact amount, how much I got paid, how much I spent on this day, you get the picture on the calendar for that specific month and then i will have the exact same basically breakdown from december the only thing that will change is the scenery of the december breakdown my estimate on how much i think i will do will always be the same of 500 dollars because i think that's accurate i make roughly around 500 dollars to 800 dollars a month um, and then the actual income will be this one and not what I'm actually stuffing. And when I am done with the entire book, which I feel like it's going to be at least two or three years on this, I will be moving on to a different company, which I'm not going to name who yet. And I will be using their budget planner. Hopefully this all makes sense to you guys. If you liked this video, please like it. If you want to consider subscribing, please do so. It helps out my channel. It makes me feel like I have real viewers coming back and re-watching my stuff or just watching it in general. I didn't want to get this a long video, so I'm sorry in advance if I did rush. You can always replay it. Try to listen carefully on what I said before. I really hope you enjoyed um, this video on what I did because it did take me a bit of work. I've been working on this since November and it's already December, like in the middle of November. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Have a great night, everyone. Bye.